All right, folks, as you notice, it's dark and cold. We're inside a 737 cockpit. I want to show you what we call a cold, dark startup. The aircraft's been parked here all day long. And uh, I want to show you how to start it up. First of all, let's get a battery switch on. Now, this is not uh, X-Plane, okay? It's a real plane. Battery switch comes on. Dome light comes on. Now we can see stuff. Uh, selector switch to AP generator. DC switch to battery. Looks like we got 28, 29 volts. Now we need a safety check. It's dash lights on here, up bright. Now what we're looking for if we start the APU is uh, what's going to happen when it starts. Okay, let's take all the bleed switches for all of them and turn them all off. Take the packs, make sure they're off. Research fan is off. Hydraulics are off. And we got uh, all your electrical switches and the uh, boost pumps are all off. Okay, next thing we need to do is make sure that if we have a problem when we start the APU, we're not going to have a, uh, uh, if we have a fire problem, we can fix it. So let's test the fire warning and you can see those systems work normally so if the APU does catch fire when it starts we can put the fire out that's what we're interested in here let's turn the gyro right side up so the pilot can fly get that here we go the sooner you do it the easier it is to do all right now this particular airplane has the uh, the DC powered uh, start pump the DC fuel pump uh, there's no controls for it it's not like an MD80 where you put on separately this one runs all by itself so I turn the AP switch to on which opens the doors and uh, the fuel valves and then you select start see the starter load drops off you can hear the EGT and the igniters going the EGT is coming up if you look at the battery draw you can see the battery draws peg the meter here, so it's pulling full. If you look at your EGT, it immediately goes past 350. It should actually go higher than that even. But I'll settle with that if it'll start. It should be closer to 500. Now let's look at the, the amp draw and see that it drops off. Hopefully as the APU accelerates, the load on the starter will decrease. And this uh, the amp load will drop off. There it goes. Now you can see the amps as they drop off. That means the APU is accelerating, and it's out. And you hear the APU. It becomes self-sustaining. I don't know how long that took. I didn't count, but 10 or 15 seconds anyway. Looks like the EGT here is stable. I always give this a minute or two. We're still running on a battery. But give it a minute or two to uh, start up a little bit. And if you look at the APU generator, you got right at 117 volts and about 400 and some cycles per second. The reason that's high is because under load, the APU will slow down somewhat and they want to keep it right at 400. They do not want it to drop below 400. Okay, so the APU voltage is stable. Go ahead and put it online. Take the left hand, we're going to power the left hand bus from the APU. And now we're going to power the right hand bus from the APU. He says it's off right now. Let's power it up. There we go. Now the whole aircraft, all the electrical systems, the left and right, AC and DC, are all powered off the APU. You can see the APU bolts are stable and the uh, frequency is still stable. And look at the battery charger. And it's charging like crazy now and you can see it's gone back up to 28 29 volts so it's right where it's supposed to be now <clears throat> you, to be a nice guy you should do a couple things right now one of them is put an electric boost pump on to reduce the wear on the fuel control unit on the APU so now the APU fuel control unit doesn't have to suck fuel from the left tank it's actually being delivered under pressure all right the next thing, give it a, a minute or two to stabilize. 
Let's see if we get some bleed air out of here. Let me do it so it's not pinching its shadows. There we go. There's your bleed air coming up. Let's open the isolation valve. That didn't help much. Oh, I don't have any air on the other side there. Huh. That's weird. Always something with these old airplanes. If you pack air on. Maybe it doesn't open until you need it. I don't know. I'd have to look it up. Put a pack on. That gauge has got to be stuck. Alright. There ain't no way you can have air on the right hand side without having air on the left hand side. That ain't possible. Research fan. Get that on. I don't know. That's odd. I'll have to tinker with that in a minute. Let's go to the forward duct and find out what the air temperature is coming to the cockpit. Alright, now i got a pack run. AC's running. Let's warm up the uh, nav units. Put them up. Let's get some indicators going here. Good. Let's get our uh, panel rates up here. Get our uh, MFDs up. There we go. Here. There we go. Okay. Up. Let's get that one up. Get that one up. There. Now we're looking better. Now one thing we need to do is tell the airplane where it's at. So down here, if you see on the FMC position, initialized, we need to tell the airplane exactly where it's at. Now, I already happen to know. You could use the previous, but it wouldn't be right. There's somebody coming in the airplane. Let's put uh, 39, 18.4, uh, and west. 0944381. Alright, we'll enter that here. Now we'll update the system. Find out what we got for Edis. Set the altimeters. Got uh, yada yada yada. How's this one work? Number two. Number speaker. Start up, we got electrical, we got air, packs running, nav spooling, fuel pumps are on. I think we're good to go. 
Now all I gotta do is fix these little sparks that come up all the time, and then uh, this airplane will be ready to go. Uh, pilots are gonna show up here in a minute. I'm the mechanic. I'm the guy that warms it up. And the uh, pilots, when they show up, all they're gonna know is that the airplane is warm. And it's ready to fly. Keep the moving lights on. The amp lights are on. Lights are off. Boost pumps on. So. We're ready. That's how you start up a uh, 737. I don't know anything about starting engines, so I'll leave that to the, the uh, pilots. But uh, airplane started up, warmed up, ready to run.